Today, we're exploring three useful tips for working with timelines in DaVinci Resolve that will speed up your editing workflow. Let's start with stacked timelines. This is great for working with different shots, sequences, and segments in an isolated manner and staying organized. To enable stacked timelines, simply click this Timeline Options icon right here and select Display Stacked Timelines. This will open up your timelines as tabs, making it super easy to navigate between them. Once you enable tab mode, opening another timeline from the media pool opens it into a new tab. To the right of the currently existing tabs, an Add Tab button lets you create additional tabs that default to Select Timeline. Click any tab's drop-down menu to choose which timeline to display in that tab. Here's where it gets interesting. Let's say you're building an intro sequence on its own dedicated timeline, like this intro timeline here. You can simply drag that entire intro timeline directly onto your main timeline as a nested sequence. Now, any changes you make to your intro timeline will dynamically update in your main timeline. Our second tip expands on this with compound clips. Editing a compound clip works the same as editing any other type of clip. They can be edited, trimmed, and deleted using all the same methods. In addition, compound clips can be renamed and decomposed back into their component clips right in the timeline. If you've got a compound clip that you want to fine-tune, simply right-click on it and choose Open in Timeline. This immediately opens that compound clip as its own new timeline tab. Just like with nested timelines, any adjustments or edits you make within this new compound clip timeline will instantly update on your main timeline. For our third stacked timeline tip, head over to the right side of your timeline viewer and click the Add Timeline button. This lets you add multiple timelines to your workspace. This is useful for comparing versions or quickly dragging and dropping clips between different sequences to make copies or move elements around. A good example of when this is useful is when you've created a timeline that contains a string out of selects from a particular interview. With this arrangement, it's easy to play through the top timeline to find clips you want to use, to drag and drop into the bottom timeline to edit into your program. That concludes our timeline tips and tricks. Hope you liked it. See you next time.